It is starting, starting, the moon started. Bye. Are you going to give me the pencil page, anything? Hills Mere. Yeah, I'm going to say it should be Hills <laughs> All right, so we on, we on now. We on live. Yeah, I see it now. You might, as well, you might as well tell them. You can say, right, what, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Sorry for the delay. We here on uh, Welcome to Birdland. Got the light night next to me right here. DJ right now. Look, we're gonna we gonna get all of him today. Go ahead. From the hills, me at 5707 Bel Air Road, where it feels like home. That's it? Yeah. Then you can you can give out the Hills Mayor Facebook page now. You can get that info. It should be the Hills Mayor. H-I-L-L-S-M-E-R-E. <laughs> Did you find? All right, we're sitting here come again. We're coming here live from the Hillsman restaurant and bar. Food is great. As a matter of fact, next Tuesday, I will not be here next Tuesday at all. So we're going to do something special Sunday. The Ravens play the Steelers. We're going to be right here. We're going to be on the air the entire game. The entire game. Something I don't usually do. The Hillsman, but it'd be the Hillsman, um, go to Hillsman restaurant and bar. I got it. Of course, Rock is, is not following what's going on. We're, we're going to give him a second, y'all. Let's rock and roll, man. I'm multitask. Well, why didn't you respond to what I just said? You were talking about doing something special because you're going to be slack and it won't be here next week. Okay, again, I'm going to try one more time. Oh, we got we got somebody here, y'all. Wait a minute. Let me, get, let me let them finish. Go ahead. Oh, but you're not slack because you're going to be here. <laughs> You can't screen out all uh, the patrons before they come into the show. <laughs> well, we have again. If if you want to watch, you want to have a good time, and you want to watch the Steelers and the Ravens, come here to the Hill, Hillsmere, fifty seven oh seven Bel Air Road. You can watch the game, get some great food, and even if 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 you are somewhere, even if you are watching the game, and you're at home. Tune in, listen to our commentary. You will definitely be. And if you maybe you're so weird, you can't actually watch the game. You're not able to get on your phone while you're sitting in the car. Pop on the Facebook page right the here. We will, the huh? Is the Colt fan going to be in the building? Did you see how he, you see what he just did? He just asked the question. This is what I got. This is what I got to work with y'all. The Colts fan, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Because we're just making this announcement right now. Okay. So I haven't even spoke to him. So, right, introduce yourself, man, for people who, who who are lucky enough to not know who you are. Go ahead. It's your favorite DJ, Mr. Get It Done. Yours truly, DJ Rock Nice. In the bell. You following him, lady? You got it on? No, yeah, I'm talking about myself. You do know she's a married woman, man. You need to watch what you say to her, man. You can't be getting fresh with her. Her husband is like 6'1". Yep. She's 70. Yep. That 270 is right. <laughs> Unfortunately, that part is right. <laughs> All right, y'all, real quick. Let me just tell y'all what we got going. Today, we're definitely going to go over our picks. We're definitely going to talk about the Ravens. And I noticed that my Lamar haters really didn't say anything this week because uh, Lamar did what? She run the touchdown. She three for two. That's right. He and did. We won't get better soon, man. We really missed you, man. Oh, yeah. Is Bob in the comments? Yeah, he said he wanted to come down. He picked up some type of bug or something. Oh, well, uh, Bob, I did get your picks, man. I, I was hoping you would be feeling better, too. Yeah, he said Carolyn really wanted to come down, but, you know, he's sick. We can't give him that. Well, as, Bob, what are you doing Sunday, man? Can you come down for the game for the Steelers and Ravens game? Can you come down for that? Because that would be fun, sir. Yes, definitely. In the building. So you could definitely, if you can make it for that, that would definitely be appreciated. We'd love to have you. Um... Let me say something real quick. Let's let me talk Orioles because my Orioles, we're in the playoffs, man. We're in the playoffs, and guess what? We don't even have to play yet. We're just sitting there watching. We won the wild card round, right? Watching the sucker. Yeah, we're watching. Let me let me let me give y'all some quick O's news, real quick. The um, Orioles don't don't jump in until October seventh, um, and they'll play the winner between uh, Tampa Bay. And Texas Rangers. Uh, you know, huh? Who won today? Uh, the Rangers won today. Okay. So Rangers. Rather play. 
It doesn't matter. I it, per, I mean, personally, we just finished playing the the, um, the Rays. I, I picked the Rays, but it doesn't matter. We got if we don't hit and pitch and field, you know, it all comes down to that. So I would here's a, here's what I don't like. The way that you know how the playoffs are for the NFL. Yes. Number one, the top seed plays the floor, the bottom seed. Right. That's not how they do it. That's how they do it in, in Major League. It's it's the way they have it is because the, the brackets are like this. The Orioles play. Okay, the Rays are ranked number four, Rangers are ranked number five. Okay. They're playing each other. Right. So they get the wild card, right? But if either one of them win, we don't play the lowest seed. And the reason is, because I had to look it up, the reason is that they make sure that we don't play a division winner. The number one seed does not play a division winner. So like the Twins um, um, could be a division winner. If they, well, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm like this. We should play the lowest seed. Whatever the lowest seed is, that's what the number one person should rank. So the top, so the way the playoffs work, there's six teams that in the American League. There's going to be six teams that make it. One and two have a bye. So that's us, and that's the Astros. You know who Jim Mills is? Yes. Okay. He said he's uh, raffling off two playoff tickets for thirty dollars. Limited seats left. Drawn on Thursday on Facebook Live. Say it one more time, Jim. What's up, Jim? Say it one more time, right? No, wait a minute. Let me put it in. Say it again, sir. He's raffling off two playoff tickets, thirty dollars. Limited seats left. Drawing this Thursday on Facebook Live. Anybody, anybody trying to get some tickets for that raffle? Thirty dollars. That's 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 a, that's good. That's good. Are you going to the game? Are you keeping a set for yourself, Jim? Jim Mills. I have to show you who he is. He's out there in, in Johnny Langland. Okay. I have to tell you some stories about Jim too. Okay. I got video of Jim doing karaoke. Have I met him? Uh, yes, at the at the um. Oh, like Johnny's? No, no, no. Movie no. premiere. You, did you see him at Park? Definitely the movie premiere. I'm trying to think, because he was in one of the one of the um the previews. Um, okay. one of the movies before that. Remember, they was getting high. He was in one of the. I think it was in that one. But you met him. You definitely met him at the premiere. Okay. But I think it was at Park like Johnny's too. What's up? Uh, Queen is finally watching. Thank you. I need some ratings. Thank you, man. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so him and Johnny are going. Oh, to the game? What's up, Lee's on here? What's up, Lee? Glad you finally made it over here, man. You long, long, long overdue, bro. Long overdue. Lee, I'll tell you about Lee later. Let's helping us understand this, this whole play out. So the playoffs, so the way the brackets work, so three and six are playing each other, four and five are playing each other. That part makes sense. That's the wild card round. But let's say the Blue Jays, which is right number six, let's say the Blue Jays beat the Twins. We, in NFL, we would be playing the Blue Jays. Right. But no, we're going to play the winner of the middle middle squad. Uh, what's up, man? Your workouts are crazy? <laughs> hey, all right, I'm going to let that slide, man. I'm going to let that go. I'm gonna leave, And I didn't even say I could go TDB, but I'm going to let that go, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jim is saying he can he can be DM'd on Facebook. That's Jim Mills. And now I see we also got Wink, our resident Patriots fan, coming in here. Yeah, Lee, you're doing a little much over there, man. But I appreciate you. So we uh so we played, that's why we're gonna end up playing the Rangers or or the or the Rays. Do you have a preference? No. By the way, do, you, do uh, Jim, do you have a preference on who we play? And I'm going to ask the same for uh, Lee. See if you hang on there. Do you have a preference for who we play, Wink? I'm only going to recognize your, your go O's. That's all I see. And then I ran out of um, I ran out of ink. So I can't read the rest of what you wrote in there. He's saying greetings from Def's condo. <laughs> He's saying you, you rather, we'd rather play the Rays. He's kind of like me. It's like we've been playing them. We know what's up with them. But you don't think playoff brings a different um, animal to the to the table? I think it does, but I also think Texas they got some hitters over there too. Okay, they got some hitters, but I, I'm like, that's it. We just finished. We we don't took the number one spot from the Rays. I feel like if we beat up on them a little bit. We can just take their soul again. They had a little celebration um, that last series. We had a four game series. They took the first two. They was they was feeling pretty good. 
we came back and took the second two and knocked their ass right back down, you know, out of, away from first place where they belong. So I'm feeling good about this. It's gone. Who hit that? What's it? All right, Brewers. Yeah, Brewers just hit a home run, letting y'all know in the National League. Uh, uh, Tyrone Taylor. So the Brewers are in the lead. Is that two to nothing? Yes, two to nothing. And if you don't know the um, – No, I think it might have been three to nothing because I think they had a run on second. They just had a butt. The, the um, batter before him did a um, sacrifice butt. Jim says, oh, I really, um, I'm sorry, Bob says, I really wish the Yank wish we could play the Yankees. That would be nice. I don't like the Yankees, but I don't trust them either. Jim is talking about the Blue Jays. We own them this year. That's true, too. But they're not in the next round. They may not. We'll see if they even get out because uh, who did I say won the first? It's, it's three nothing, Troy. Who won the first one? The Blue See one between the Blue Jays and the Twins. I don't remember. I think the twin did the twins win? It was a two run home. Oh, it's a two run. All right, three to nothing. Milwaukee's above Arizona. And uh we're gonna see what's up with that. Okay, so next, let me just say real quick also. Now that we know, remember that's October 7th. Orioles also have um they got some events coming up for those of y'all who do not know. Oh, Lisa says the twins. Okay, thanks, man. Three one. Twins won. Three one. So, a little pressure on the teams that didn't win today. It's only three game series, so they got a little pressure. But we just saw that. We saw that that they won. Remember? You told me you couldn't remember. Oh yeah, the Twins. Okay. Well, you didn't. You didn't remember. You only second guessing myself. All right, y'all. Look. This salad must be mean, man, because the Queen he said two words since he brought it to him. It's food. He brought it to on the forklift. It's food, man. Uh, oh, she did, she did make a comment. The raffle is for game one. Okay, by the way, game one. Lee, if you're trying to get tickets, man, or looking for a raffle, you read in the comments, Jim Mills, he's raffling off tickets for game one. So that's Saturday. Man, you should just you should just give me that ticket, Jim. Anyway, um, Orioles got some special events coming up this week. They had some stuff today where you can meet the Oriole bird and all this stuff. But since it's already over, I'm, I'm not going to mention that. But what did stand out to me is that, um, and Bob is saying it's definitely good food. The food is great here. I, let, me, let me just give a quick commercial to them. I have had, we've had the Caesar salad seems to be number one on the queen. She's here. The um, Now, I had the burger with the crab, crab dip and bacon. Wow. That was good. I've had the jambalaya. Yeah, the I've had the favorite. Jambalaya's your favorite? My favorite. But let me tell you what happened the other night. Um, the other night when you and I were here, mm -hmm. um, he gave me food to go. He gave me two sliders, right? Mm -hmm. I promise you. You know the size of like a um, a double cheeseburger from McDonald's, like a regular double cheeseburger? Mm -hmm. That's that's what he considers to be a slot. Mm. Man. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> I opened the container by saying, this had to be a special meal for me. Hmm. And then the gangsta assassin was like, no, that's how they all are. So I only can imagine what the regular burger is, you know? Hey, the food, the food is always good. It's all everything I've had has been great. Um, so let me just let y'all know. So the events they have coming up on uh Wednesday, which is tomorrow, they actually have a postseason workout. You can actually go to the stadium, watch the Orioles work out. For the um, as they're getting ready, I guess that's batting practice, field of practice, whatever they're doing. Maybe they might do a little inner. No, hopefully, they don't do uh, a game. I don't want anybody running around getting hurt, but uh, you can do that. That's uh, from 12 30 to 2 30. And my favorite thing, and they got other stuff throughout the week, but my favorite thing, which I'm going to do Friday, Friday from 6 to 10, 6 a.m. to 10 in the morning, they're doing the stencil. You remember when the Ravens did that? So I'm like, 6 in the morning, go down to the stadium. They got, uh, they're putting stencil. I'm assuming it's on the rear window, all of that. So I'm going down there Friday morning. I got to get up early, though. But from 6 to 10, it'll be worth it. Y'all got to try to get ahead of that traffic. And last but not least, they are putting a Brooks Robinson exhibit in the Babe Ruth Museum. I really? Know. Yeah, I just I just saw that as we were coming in. Wow. So I don't really have any details about that, but I know they're going to do it. So that would be, you know, that's so a big do, deal. Do, 
Do do the whole Brooks Robinson legacy, not Brooks Robinson, the whole Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth legacy, do we as Baltimoreans get the claim rule or do the Yankees get the claim rule? Brooks Robinson. Babe, Babe Ruth. The, well, the museum, because he was born here. So you're going to get his, you're going to get all the stuff from when he was born here, I guess where his parents were. Because he had something, I think he was born somewhere on the uh, stadium property, somewhere around in there. So I think, I've never been there. But, I mean, it's going to be the Baltimore side of Babe Ruth, I would imagine. But um, that's all I would know. I might put Brooks Wall up in the, uh, oh, put a Brooks Wall up in the basement. What's up, Nicole? And Jim says they may flex the game to 4 p.m. due to the concert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they haven't announced the time of the game. I was trying to find that. So, and Lee already says he has tickets for game one and tickets for a tailgate. Man, I'm excited, man. Look, I'm trying, I told y'all before, I'm trying to get a game. Two games the same day in the same city. I need the Orioles and the Ravens game on the same day. I need that Sunday. I need that Sunday game, man. Everybody's like, it ain't going to happen. I need this. They go to the World Series. Sooner or later, they're going to have to play on the Sunday. They're going to play the same day. And we already know the Ravens' schedule. So if we see a Sunday pop up, we can we can already try to calculate. I just need them to win each round. But anyway, that's what's, that's what's happening with the O's. We're going to probably jump back and forth yeah, between Wink Orioles said, talk. Wink said that they were on school here. At St. Mary's School for way more growth. Yeah, it is. That'd be something on. He, you know, I'm not 100 percent on Babe Ruth because he that Yankee side, right? You know, because it was with Boston first, but uh, Ravens are away the next two weeks. It's okay. They can be away the next two weeks. So that means we just need to keep winning to go all the way to the big. Yeah, games. we go. We we play all the way and get to the World Series, and we know we got um. Home field advantage, at least up until the World Series. And if they're playing the Braves, I think the Braves are the only I think the Braves are the only team that had a better record. I was always looking forward for the school of Wayward Girls. See Bob, Bob's working on his stand-up. By the way, Bob's got stand-up. Bob, what's the date of your stand-up? Is that the six we said? Yeah, he said Friday. This Friday? Yes. Is this Friday? Yes, that's what he said. Okay. This Friday. Bob's doing stand-up. Wait a minute. I, I got to throw Bob's picture up here. If I knew Lee was going to be on here, I'd have Lee's picture. The John Goodman movie was a great show. Okay. About Babe Ruth, I do remember that. Was he an alcoholic? Was that No, that was Ty Cobb. That was Ty Cobb. Babe was probably one, too. This Friday. Bob, you have your, you have your jokes ready? Here's Bob right there. Let y'all see what Bob looks like. Bob's got that... Um, LAPD. <laughs> LAPD Blue. LAPD Blue. Does that man look like he's funny? Y'all let me know. <laughs> let me know what y'all think. He drank like, oh, he was an alcohol. Okay. He was into all that and whatnot. Bob, you look scary. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the stuff I got for yo's. We'll, we'll still talk Orioles, and let me get in a little bit of... Uh, Football talk real quick, well, too. Before you move on, um, just to clear, we can piggyback from last show. Um, you was explaining that um, the way the series was going, the wild card was best out of three, right? The, right, right. Best out of three. Then the second, the, the next division round, round is best, best out of three. Mm -hmm. And then there's the final round. Best no, there's best still two more. And then it's the best out of seven. So you get the division round. Then you, so you got um, the wild card, right? Which so is two, two games more. going on. Right. Then the division round, you still got two games. Mm -hmm. Then the winner of those two games go into the uh, championship series, which is equivalent to the to the AFC. AFC championship. Gotcha. And then uh, and then it's the winner of that goes to the World Series. Okay. So they got um. So we skipped the first round. Right. So we need to win the divisional. Then we need to win the uh, championship. Okay. And then uh, we go on to the big game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got to do a five and seven and then a seven. So. Hey man, can you um? Can you campaign to our wife about the the black jersey? I don't know what our, you said wife, so I don't I don't know who you're talking about. I'm talking about our wife. Call her on the phone. Um, she's occupied right now. Oh, well, that's that, that must be our wife that you're talking about. Call her on the phone. Call 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 uh, Guru. 
<laughs> so he tried real hard to try to call you, I'm sure. He's he's very predictable. Anyway. Oh Yeah, he he's 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 very predictable. Because I asked Troy to call our wife about the um the black jersey. He said to go ahead and call her while we was on the air. Mm -hmm. I told you she was occupied. She didn't want to answer. Most people don't really talk to you anyway. You you don't have a lot of friends, do you? I did. She coming and she coming to my side of the room. I don't know. I feel I feel threatened. Security. Oh, move me with you. Give him a spot to see. It's fine. What y'all Give him give him a spot so he put out here. We want the, the black O's jersey with the Maryland flag on the inside. We? Yes. You speak French? Yes. He can barely speak English. That was the only foreign language they gave me in high school. He's terrible, y'all. Why don't you do some of the stand up? Why don't you get out there? Won't you won't you you ask for us to get the black jersey? Because you know in about two weeks they're gonna be sky high. Mm -hmm. Oh wait a minute. You should put oh, you know what, Bob? I ah I, I did I gotta download one. That's a great idea. I would definitely do it. You don't have to no, you don't have to wait. Oh, oh. She's a good chick on the phone. Yes, sir. Are you sir? No. Nah. Bob, when can it, and let me know the, the movie uh for Austin. Let me know when you know anything about it so I can uh watch it or see it or talk about anything. And Wink's trying to throw shade on us saying that Baltimore finally has a bye week. We had a bye week uh before, and that was uh Lamar's MVP year. We had a bye week that year, Wink. Um y'all apparently had a bye week um <laughs> Twice the yeah, Sunday. You've already had a bye week because yeah, I didn't see y'all play. They showed up for the game. Oh, Yale done popped up? What's up, man? Yale done popped up. He trying to identify. No. Hmm? Oh, Wait, you inside? You inside, Drew? I just make a guess. Drew. Can you get me? Back at it. Oh. Hi. Oh, hell. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's not me. That's not Go ahead, look. We got the queen here. Say hello. You and this, you and that one right I'll there. Now. So you see. Uh, innumerable blessings. Innumerable blessings. Now, y'all carry on with your conversation. It's cool. And then Yale, Yale is about to say something in reference to Wink about what do you mean we finally have a bye week? So, oh, wait a minute. And Bob, one of my jokes is about a guy who enters a hot dog eating contest. For the free food. You know who that is? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is me. The ghost saying hey to you. Oh, I thought that was me at first. She said queen. Okay. No, no, no. She don't see you yet. Remember. Bob did say hi. But, but this is what they see over here. Yeah. And for the record, Bob, I didn't even sign up for the hot dog eating contest. I was just told I was in the contest. And you could have not done it. I wanted but, to support a friend. But you was always saying, yeah. He said, I have to pay for this, do I? <laughs> I wanted to support a friend. Now, the free hot dogs, he struggled. <laughs> in the contest, he struggled. But when he's sneaking them, that, we should have told him he had to pay for it. But hurry up and eat something real quick. He'd have probably won. That dude ate 10. You would have ate, yeah. Really? Some of the times they eat 40 and 50. I mean. Poor Rodney. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all. Y'all back to sports. Let's get to sports. We get to it. Uh, and, and yeah, it was there. He said, you ain't, you ain't all of five. <laughs> I ain't more than that, and I paid for mine. <laughs> Rod was slow. He was like, the way you walk, like the, the pace you walk, normally. But I've seen you eat, you eat faster than that when we downstairs. Not a quarter pound. Yeah, when you had those ribs over here, when Rosie brought those pizza, it was a whole different story. Now he wasn't talking about no sixty percent, eighty percent. He wasn't doing none of that. He was, he was like, 
And, and from what I understand, you you have experience on eating wieners. That's what I heard. Okay, on that note, miracles and blessings. Miracles and blessings. That's what I heard. I'm out. That's not your first time. You, okay. You're supposed to act like you've done that before. When you, when you go over there, you hurry up. That's why. I'm you go up there? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Anyway. Um, oh, let me find one more thing. Hold on. Let me go ahead, Rod. You can, you want to do another commercial real quick? Hell's Meat Bar and Restaurant, 5707 Bel Air Road, where it feels like home. We're open each and every day except Monday. Sunday is the terrific tailgate. What are we doing this Sunday? The tailgate. We want to chill on our favorite team. What we doing? What, what, what we doing? We're going to be on the air. Say all that and what's not. You told me to do a commercial. Do you? Oh, okay. Go. Sorry. Start over. Can you speak restaurant? 5707 Bel Air Road. Where it feels like home. We're open each and every day except Monday. This Sunday is the terrific tailgate. Come on through. Support your local team. Mm, mm, mm. If it's the Ravens. If it's not the Ravens, still come on by and watch us support our favorite team as we beat up on the Steelers. Mm, mm. Each and every Tuesday is Welcome to Bradland Live here from the Hillsmere Bar and Restaurant. Come on by and check us out, man. Fellowship with us a little bit. Meet the, the faces behind the voices. Wednesday, sing along karaoke where you two could be the star. Thursday is for all educators. If you're an educator of any sort, come on by. We have something special for you. Mm -hmm. And then Friday is the Fab Friday Happy Hour. But your favorite DJ, Mr. Get It Done, your the DJ Rock Nice. In the build. Playing all of the hits from yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Come on out and have a good time with us, y'all. Y'all okay? <laughs> Did y'all get through that? Good job, bro. Good job. We only lost half our audience. Good job. No, nah, no, nah, we did all right. Anyway, well, we're gonna have a good time. So on Sunday, again, come down here. We're gonna we're gonna go live. We'll be on the air while the game is on while Pittsburgh and get the head. The rev. That's right. That's right. Kenny Pickett already jacked up anyway, man. I gotta get the rev. I haven't had the reverend. I gotta get him in here soon. Okay. Maybe I try to get him by the time I get back. Okay. I'll be ready. Once we beat up on the um, Steelers, he probably have a lot to say because I remember that last one, the last comments he made about Kenny Pickett. So you're, you're, you're not coming to work next Tuesday? No, I'm coming Sunday because I wouldn't normally work on Sunday, so I'm putting in some overtime on Sunday. <laughs> Two Tuesdays. Stay in a You need to get your priorities together. I am his priority. He got a strength. Anybody with the New Jersey Giants, Morgan alumni will be there on Friday. Did you say that? No, I didn't. Um, but this is homecoming week for the Bears, and they're celebrating every day this week. So if you got anything to do with Morgan, you might want to come on through here. Is that what you're saying? Yes. All right. She gave you credit, though. Yo, know, these comments are funny. So Nicole does approve. She said you did a great job, as you can see. You agree with that? If she said I did. Yeah, it's hard to believe. She might she might say, maybe he, he said you left-handed, Nicole. Don't let him, don't let him get away with that. Left-handed people have issues. That's what he said. They're challenged. I totally disagree. So I think people born in Baltimore that don't eat um crab cakes because they don't like them. That's a challenge. That's a challenge, man. I don't understand that at all. All right, quick news, NFL news real fast. Matthew Judon. Isn't that the Patriots? Isn't that, isn't that Wayne's team? He's out for two months, some type of bicep issue. For two months? Two months. He ain't with us anymore. I won't be upset. WMEG does the best commercials. I see you, Nicole. That's a good one. Do they? Of course. I agree. I like WMEG, y'all. As a matter of fact, you want to give a little WMEG plug while we sit here real quick? Yeah. Y'all be quicker than that. Go ahead. WMEG online radio, giving you what you've been missing in radio. Okay. All right. We're back. 
<laughs> but yeah, you can listen to us on WMEG online radio. I like the I listen to it on the tune in app. That's where I roll into it. But I know there's other ways to do it. To listen. Yes, you can find WMG on Apple Music. You can find us on the TuneIn app. Just search WMG, or you can go to our website, get us directly at RockMeg1.com. R O C M E G, the number one dot com. Wait, you did not know about your boy Matthew Judon? You didn't know about that, sir? Two months. Two months. It doesn't matter. It's not like y'all been winning. It's not like y'all been playing ball. Y'all just had, how many buys are y'all having this week? Y'all just had one last week. <laughs> Speaking of people's jobs, do you think Belichick job is on the line now? Some people was talking on TikTok the other day. They were saying, um, that Mike Tomlin must have some dirt on the Rudy family because he's been eight and eight for like the last six years and his job is not in jeopardy. They okay, first with the with the and, and with, I need you to I need you to comment on this, sir. Uh do you still think Belichick is like the greatest coach? Do you still feel the same way? Oh, he said he was aware. I just didn't have to advertise. Yes, I do. I need to know, is Belichick, is, was he only good because of Brady? Because Brady has still won Super Bowls, and uh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why? Why do you think he's still good? Y'all are terrible, man. Terrible. I'm going to go, y'all are like Charles Barkley terrible. So I need you to explain Mr. New England, Brady or Belichick? Brady, from what I can see. Mm. I mean, Do you think Brady is going to make a difference in the career of Shador Sanders? Brady? Yes. What, what do you think? I do. I do. Um, if you if you combine the athleticism of Shador Sanders with the football IQ of Tom Brady, that's going to be something special. And he already just said that that's his mentor, you know, and then he has the NIL deal with Tom Brady, so that means they had sort of like a, a personal and business relationship, you know? You'll notice, as a matter of fact, in the past few weeks, anytime Rock can mention anybody from the Sanders family, he try, he gets it in there. I'm just letting y'all know. So he finds that. I like the way you did that with the Tom Brady and you worked your way to him. You find a way to get over there. You know, something else they did say um, in reference to... to um, to, to Dion, Dion is no longer undefeated, right? Okay. He has two losses, right? Right. But he still has more um, press and more media coverage than the other three coaches that's still undefeated over there um, in college football. That's something, ain't it? <laughs> that's just like me coming to work every day and everybody crowning King Brothers. <laughs> So you said you saying that uh, he's getting more coverage than the um, the three coaches that's left that's undefeated over there. Do you think he should? Yes, because it's not about wins, wins and lose, wins and losses at this point. You know, um, he turned around a, a whole program, man, in one year. One, not even a complete year. Because he hasn't been there a complete year yet. He didn't get there until, what, December, January? Wait a minute. Let me, I'm sorry. Let me just give you a comment. Yale says, Belichick has been exposed as not being able to win without Brady. I totally agree. Um, you realize that uh, Belichick has nine rings, not just seven. Okay, Yale's, Yale's talking to everybody. Okay, get back to the to what Wink was saying, Yale. Wink, Yale trying to get in all conversations. Yes. Yeah, we got we got we got to, we got to keep him under control. Finish with Wink, and then come back to Sandy. <laughs> anyway, oh, one other thing. Let me give you some other news, sir. And uh, around in about twenty minutes, we'll get to our picks too. Since we got we got Yale and Wing and we got everybody here. I don't see Shelly though, and we got the uh, Shelly probably taking uh, the a vacation or something, so she'll be back for the, the start of the playoffs with the O's. So you know she had to probably get a ten day trip in somewhere. <laughs> She's probably in Egypt. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. We got another injury. Did somebody just? Oh, it's a school time. Did you change the channel? She did. 
Is this the Philly? Okay, well, what's the score in the corner? I just can't. Just tell me the score in the corner. That's not the same. Three, three. Okay, the score. It, well, why'd you shrink the? Put it back. Oh Lord, never mind, y'all. Never mind. You can look there. I was just gonna. No, 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 no. No, I gotta get back to it. Hit the back button. No, because I missed it. I went back too far. All you had to do was leave it there. <laughs> well, I'll tell you on the score in a minute. But let me just say this real quick. Uh, more on injury news. We got some uh, Kenny Pickett. He's supposed to practice tomorrow, but he's got some kind of bone bruise. He got injured near the end of that game uh, Sunday. Yeah, Tom about week two. Tommy going to play him, though, because he got to put his best foot forward against us, man. So what's what's good? Uh, uh, 50% Kenny Pickett or 100% Trubisky? 50% Because 100% Kenny Pickett will throw some, some interceptions. So when it can't move, and, and I'm, I'm listening to... If I was a betting man, I would go with for Pickett. So you're not a betting man? Nah, you know, betting is illegal in some states. You just, just make that screen bigger. Yeah, that's it. And I can't see that score to them words. Yeah. All right, so it's three to three over there. The right, but it was showing. Okay, so I don't know what happened, man. It's a, it's some activity going on in that game. Three to three. Yeah. Some home runs going on in that game. Three to three between the diamond. Uh uh. Diamondbacks and uh, bro. Uh uh. Because as long as they have the score in the corner, that's fine. And we're now we're also checking out the Marlins and the Phillies. So I know I got some some uh, Eagles fans. So I don't know if they like the Phillies as well. Um, Yale said Trubisky's beat us before. Um, oh, wait a minute. And Bob says 31 other coaches were exposed as not being able to win without Brady multiple times. Bob, save your material, man. Don't, don't use all of it. <laughs> don't use all of it. And, uh, and Yale, Yale is correct when you talk about Tua Bill's ring came as an assistant. I think he's just trying to make it look like Bill's a genius, even though he, he didn't call any shots. On those other rings. That's all I'm saying. Two out so, of six. I'm just saying six six rings, you know, is with Brady. But Brady left and immediately got seven. Bill is fighting for the player. So I mean, I don't I don't know what you call that. But did did they get it because of Brady? Or Brady just was like the final piece to our race? Final piece. Yeah. Had you heard anything about New England before Brady got there? No, I'm talking about when you say he left and got the, the seven. Yeah, he left and went to Tampa, Tampa, Tampa Bay. Yeah. So your second favorite stadium? No, don't get me. Is that your that's your second favorite because of the third row, the third tier? Anyway, go ahead. We won't go there. I'm saying did Brady go there and cause them to get the seventh ring, or was Tampa already heading in that direction? He was just the final piece to the puzzle. What's the difference? The the difference would be, you know, regardless of who would have been the final piece of the puzzle, they still could have went on that journey. Uh, everybody is trying to give credit solely to Brady, but, you know, it's 51 other men on that roster. Right, but I don't think anybody's saying giving 100% credit to Brady. But you have to give credit to Brady because they didn't win. They didn't get that until he got there. And, you know, they got receivers, you got blockers. Football is the ultimate team sport, man. Yes. Ultimate. And you got to have a, um, you got to have a, you know, I I like Brady in Tampa. I don't like him anywhere. I didn't like him in New England at all. Tampa, I didn't hate him as much. That's probably a better way to put it. Well, when back to back home runs um, for the game. That's how I got tied to three. That's how you tied up? Uh-huh. But you said you liked him in Tampa? I didn't dislike him as much. In Tampa, when I saw him drunk in the harbor throwing the uh the, the Lombardi, I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. So I didn't dislike him as much, but I couldn't stand New England. It was Steelers, and New England was right below as far as teams that I hate. So I got to see I got to, it's Tennessee is now uh overtaking that spot. So we're gonna see me see any more comments. We need to be oh wait a minute, there's some talk. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh. Brady brought Gronk, Fournette, and Brown to the team. Those cats wouldn't have come without Tom Brady being there. That's a good point. 
What do you think about that? And Wink says by the time Brady went there, he was more than a player. He was a player coach. You see the comments? See oh, so what do, you, what do you think about those? So why we don't mention the players that he brought with him? We, we just, what are you talking about? We, we just, just did. We, I'm saying that now, but every time we had this conversation, we're saying Brady got them, you know. Your question was, was he the final piece? No, I and, said he, he was the final piece, but don't you think that Tampa would have been just as competitive had um, he not gone there? They'd have got, say they, they'd have got someone else, so another leading quarterback. You know? Name one. Anybody. That was available or that anybody could have filled that spot? It had to be somebody that was available. How you going to name, what you, you want to say, Johnny Unitas? Yeah, no, who's no, available? I'm not saying, I'm saying, Bro. like, even if, if they had got Dak in a trade or something like that, what I'm saying is, if they'd have had, if they'd have had a quarterback that, that just could drive the boat down the field, I think they would have got the same, the same result. I don't think so. Because that's what that's what they had. I mean, they had who who was it? Winston that was there. I mean, Winston Winston could play good sometimes, but no. If if you got Brady and you got other players that went because Brady was there, right? You see the, you see the comment. Yeah. So it's like, and you got somebody that's like saying, you know, you you get some players that make other players that motivate other players too. You know what I mean? What do you think would have happened? If uh dude they got hurt for the Jets. Um Rogers. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Do you do you think, and we'll never know, but I already have my do you think the Jets would have gone to the promised land? No, had he, so had he, they'd have had a different season. They would be in a different spot right now. You think so? Yes. Why why with the team with the Packers, the team that he's been with forever, right? Why did they get worse with him that final year? I mean, I know they lost, um, but he didn't. He oh, uh, like Philly. Philly's threatening to score, y'all. They're threatening to score. A zero zero game between the Marlins and and uh, and the Phillies. They didn't have runners on. Is that second and third? Second and third. I don't think there's any outs. No outs. We'll see what's up. And, and you know what? The, I would say this about playoffs. It would be it would be even greater when it's the NFL. When we're sitting there in a bye, and all you can do is just watch and just whatever happens, happens. It doesn't matter because we're just waiting. And this is the National League. That doesn't really affect us right now. Way, right. right. But um, I'm enjoying it. So you, you get to watch it, watch baseball as opposed to watching a team. Yeah. And being just, just, and just trying to get you up. See, that's, yeah, you are perfect for this, for typing, because you would have said all this and, and we'd have lost, and Bob would have gone to sleep. You're perfect for this. Anytime somebody types and it says see more, meaning I can't read it all, then I'm, I'm scrolling past. You re, you read that one and let me know. Um, and we're still trying to defend. Every team has to gel. Come on, man. Get that weak sauce argument out of here. <laughs> Will you are funny, but I'll still say this. I think, I think uh I think Brady can win. Well, it's obvious Brady has won without Belichick. Belichick hasn't won without, without oh, Tom. And the way your team looks right now, we'll wait and see what happens. It's not too late. Everybody likes to say it's still early. But, um, hey, week four, that's that's technically a fourth, of, almost a fourth of the season. We got extra, we got extra time now, but 17 games. It's almost a quarter of the game. Quarter season. Yeah. Quarter so, season. and there's some teams, and I meant to write it down. This teams got bye weeks this week. Cleveland's Cleveland winning. got one of them. Yeah, and I, they were talking about that because at one hand it was like when the season started, it was like that's a, a bad place to have a bye week. But Cleveland needs that bye week right now. Personally, I think by them adding the game, they should add another bye week that would extend the season anyway. I think everybody should get two buys. Two buys. Because I mean, you add an extra game. Bye week now, everybody. And I mean, if you want, give everybody the exact same bye week. Now nah, they don't want to do that because you want to keep football playing. But I'm like, that would extend the season another week. Give everybody two buys. So you start getting, you know, three, four, five, and six or whatever. And then towards the end, I say, yeah, I'm all down for that. 
Wink's like, uh, you're three and one, we're two and two, let's all settle the. <laughs> we, y'all got y'all answers, boy, man. There's a, there's a difference. Y'all, y'all should be, y'all two and two. <laughs> With me, three and one. With three and one. And granted, we should not have lost that game. We shouldn't. We, we, we tried not to win that game. But okay, okay, wait. No, 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 not two and two. In fact, aren't they one and three? Hold up. I can pull it up now while you Bob says, can we please stop talking about Brady? The most popular person in the NFL is Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> I personally, uh, Dallas had an aggressive victory. But I agree with the Taylor Swift thing. And I had no problem with it. I don't dis I I don't. I just I think it's funny. To be honest. The Patriots are one and three, they're not telling two. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, y'all one and three. Wait, try real hard. I know you've been medicated. You might be thinking of one of those wins in the in the preseason. Y'all only got one. Yeah, they got they're one and three. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's hand. <laughs> you know where the ladies are. <sighs> Anyway, I'm finding y'all pretty funny. And keep, and keep in mind, y'all, in about 10 minutes, we will roll through and start. Um, we'll go through our picks in a minute and make announcements. Bob, I think you set a record, Bob. I had to pull out the book from last year. You may have set a record. Um, Bob is right. Her scrawny ass moved, that, moved the needle. And that is huge when you know how much money the NFL makes anyway. You're right. You're right. I think if um, what do you think would happen if if Queen, if Beyonce started dating Lamar, what do you think would happen? Would it be the same thing? No. It wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as a big of a deal. No. Why not? It would be huge because she's because she's married. Okay, let's pretend she's not. Okay, let's say Cardi B. So that she wasn't married. Yeah, yeah. But but you don't think it'd be you don't think it'd be as big of a deal. If she was still married to Jay Z? No, no, no. If she's not married, she's okay. Let's let's take Cardi B. Who who else? Who else? Who's... I see. Okay, probably more Cardi B than Beyonce. Okay, Cardi B. You think it'd be a big deal? Yeah. I mean, it'd be a big deal. But, but but I'm gonna tell you the difference. You wouldn't be as ups You you wouldn't be annoyed by hearing about Taylor Swift, and you shouldn't be because you said you was annoyed by about it, right? Right, because you're not watching anyway. And if it wasn't for memes, you really you wouldn't even know. <laughs> Rock, how you feel? You you have a problem with Taylor Swift? Not at all. She would you Would you like to date Taylor Swift? No. You know what he said, light skin. <laughs> and lighter skin. <laughs> the one that he broke up with. I, I would be interested in, in taking her to the movies and sharing some popcorn. Taking her to the movies. Yes. She shared. You don't know about no. You don't know about no. First of all, I see you holding on to the box and not sharing. Anyway, y'all, let me see what we got. Baby, you jo- <laughs> wait. We gonna, are you are you not home now? Or are you home? Let us know where you are. Who wait. wait. He's still at, at, at the deaf condo. Yeah, I don't know what, but that could be in his. No, nah. is he still in? The, he's still in the room. In the room. Mm-hmm. That's no lie. See, our new single coming out. I started a tight out and wound up. Oh, I started with a tight end and wound up a wide receiver. Uh, look, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that. We're gonna wait until we're gonna wait till Friday for that one, Bob. We're gonna wait for Friday. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something real quick while I'm here, and I forgot to read them last week. Since we're about to go into our pick shortly, I'm gonna give you um I'm gonna give y'all some power ranks. Give me some power rank music, man. We're talking about NFL power ranks. Yes. There we go. That's all I need to know. Let me let y'all know real quick. Uh-oh, clean, clean, clean. Actually, I need to turn that down. Hold on. In case y'all start some something crazy. Let me bring that back, back, back. Oh. I respect the fact that Yeah, I say nothing. I'm not, I'm not even well, that can probably be read. I'm sitting back here. 
Power ranks. Let me just let y'all know the bottom five real quick. You, you have any idea who the bottom five are? Who you think they are? Just off the top of your head. Patriots. <laughs> you know. <laughs> who you think? The Steelers. Nope. All right, I'm going to read the bottom five. Okay. Cardinals. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Broncos. Raiders. Giants. The Panthers. And at the bottom, Chicago. Really? Chicago's terrible, man. You ain't see that? But I'm saying, I thought the Giants, well, the Giants did have one. You saw what just happened? Yeah. And wherever you are, once you lose a win, you know, you, 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 you get some little movement or something. Yeah. But yeah, it ain't about the five. Now the Patriots are number twenty-four. Just, just so you know, they twenty-four. So they down there too. Yep. Steelers twenty-three. Wow. You saw that game. <laughs> <laughs> you saw them, and and let me tell you, Steelers fans. There's a couple of people I need to address too. Steelers fans, real quick. Um, Gail saying the Bears haven't won a game. Let me say this real fast. Steelers fans, y'all, in fact, let me, let me, let me. They worse than the Yankee fans. Let me close man. up. You know, they went one game and then your phone blow up. Y'all made a big deal saying how we struggle. How the rate, look, let me, let me let y'all see that real quick. How we struggle to beat Houston when our team hadn't played and done anything. We got new offensive coordinator. Uh, y'all was telling me there was all excuses because we barely, this is what they say, we barely won. Let me ask you a question. Y'all ain't barely lose. Y'all ain't barely. No, 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 no. Y'all are real. I just had to say that. Y'all are real. I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. Y'all down at the bottom of y'all belong. <laughs> y'all ain't totally in the basement. That's really Bengals. But still, it just felt good saying. And that's surprising mm -hmm. too, man. We had the, the Bengals as one of the top two teams in our division. Oh, let me tell you where they rank right now. So we got 24 Patriots, 23 Steelers. Got the Commodores, 22. Wow. 22. Bengals, 20. Remember when we started the season, they was like top three, top four. Top four, right. Same guy. We got them down to number 20, y'all. 20. Anyway, make, make sure I cover the rest of our division. Where the Browns at? All right, let me make sure I ain't skipping anybody else. Da, 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 da. Oh, Texas, by the way, are 15. Anyway, um, where are the Browns and where are we? The Browns are number 11. And where are we? All right, we're doing our top 10 right now. Number 10, Tampa Bay. Okay. But Tampa. he just had a convincing win, so. Tampa Bay. Number nine. They won last night. Seahawks. Wow. Number eight, the Ravens. Got Ravens at number eight. Well, for one it's, 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 so, it's okay. It's But we, we barely won. Let them have it. Number seven, we got the Lions. Uh oh, some info. Who is it? I I I'm, I'm getting there, Yale. I I let me look. Let me keep your phone. Video too. If you want to text, you want you want to text everybody. Make sure no pigeons come in here when you see very pigeons. I got that because that would have been, I wanted to make a comment in reference to uh, not seeing uh, um, any any changes in our offensive coordinator and our scheming. Huh? But that's a valid point. Don't say nothing yet. Okay. But I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you credit for bringing it up. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, where are we at? Eight Ravens, seven Lions, six Dolphins, five Cowboys, four Eagles, three Bills, two Chiefs, 49ers number one. I can see number one. That's the only one I don't disagree with. You you don't think the Chiefs should be number two? No. Who should what did the Chiefs done that, that makes them um, rank so? That's eight slots above us. So where should the Chiefs be? So you have more of an issue with the Chiefs or us? Us. So you don't have a problem. So number two isn't really that big a deal. No, I, I think they should be. I got it written down, Joe. I, I, I got it, man. I got it. <laughs> I just don't think they 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 the top two, man. I mean, um, who's number two? And who do you think's number two? Yeah, give me your um, give me your top five in order too. I really think we should be at number two outside of the hiccup with the Colts. 
We've been playing dominant football. We we have, have you had a, a, a stress filled game this year with the Ravens? Yeah, the Colts, the only one, right? Have we had stress free? A stress filled. Oh, filled. I'm sorry, the Colts. Yeah, the Colts. Colt. Colt. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been. It but shouldn't I mean, be. We've been watching relaxing football. I I agree. We've never had this many games. Um, I agree. And uh, and we we're working on Nicole's talking about filling his tutu. We're hoping we can do that Sunday. I got to get a hold of Phil and find out because I was hey yeah. What are you doing Sunday, man? Can you come up here? And don't forget, give me your top five. Your top five teams. Your your opinion of the top five. Um, can I have my phone back? No. I'm just figuring out why why that even exists. Why 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 is that even a connection? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, Yale, I need I need I got a quick question for you, Yale. Give me your top five. And Yale brought up a valid point. I want to say real quick to the haters of <laughs> Wink is saying don't yell at Yale. He is aware of your censoring practices. <laughs> no. Bruh. Anyway. <laughs> He's supposed to be dozing off. Um, with the help of Yale, um, in fact, that deserves a picture of, of you also, Yale. Uh, oh, Yale's got his top five, too. Hold on, sir. And uh, this, according to our expert, Yale, right here, Yale's top five. He's got the Ravens in the top five. And tell me how you feel about this, Rod. Ravens at number five, Eagles at number four, Miami at number three, Kansas City number two, and the 49ers number one. What do you think about that, Rob? I would flip number five and number two. So you would have the the, the Ravens ahead of the Chiefs. Yes. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why we're not that much. I would just just um I I wouldn't flip them. I would make Ravens number two, KC number three. Miami can stay four. Philly would be number five. So say it again. So one, 49ers. Yes. Two, two Ravens. Three. Kansas City. Four. Miami. Okay. And five. Philly. Okay. I'm going to say this, and I think we can beat Buffalo, KC. I agree. I like that, Yale. Yale says uh, he thinks we can beat Buffalo, Kansas City, and Dallas. I don't fear anybody. To be honest, <laughs> I'm going to let Wink have that. We see Wink's last comment. I'm going to let Wink have that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> y'all need to get into the comment. Y'all need to look, tell people to come onto this page and log on. And yeah, let me know if you can make it here Sunday, sir. I would love to know. We just spanked the number one defense in the division. Okay, let's get into the Ravens real quick. Everybody's feeling that. I want to say this about, about what I've noticed. If you don't see any difference in Todd Monken and what's happening with our offense, um, the first thing I notice is what Yale just mentioned, and that's our efficiency in the red zone, which we ha did not have it last year. It is you're sitting there, and it's like, all right, maybe they'll try it twice, but Tucker, get warmed up, get ready, and, and – Depending on where we are, Harbaugh may go for it on fourth and one. Fourth and one. So I, I yeah, is a thousand percent correct. I've noticed that right away. I've also noticed the um, the Lamar's passing percentage. He's still up at seventy four. He's he's still high with that. And I'm sorry. And by the way, the um, our red zone is is way above. Uh, we're leading the league. How did Yale quote? I want to say it the way Yale said it. Queen, can his could you read tell me his text real quick, please? The Ravens are over 80% in red stone, red zone efficiency. That makes the whole league by ridiculously large percentage. That's it. That's it. You heard that? Yeah, I want to make sure you get credit for that, man. And also, um between that, between Lamar, um, his passing, I, I'm seeing the receivers. I'm seeing them, they're, they're more open. I see differences. I see a lot of differences. And 
the way we performed, Cleveland's defense was number one at the time. And we go, well, regardless of what was happening on their offense, I mean, they couldn't score, but their defense was intact. Miles Garrett still was wreaking havoc, but Lamar was still was still making his moves and his passing. Look, those passes to Andrews. I mean, Lamar is getting that over the shoulder. I'm just I'm saying it's 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 happening. The way I picture it's happening. And to man, we're going up against Pittsburgh next. And there was something else I was going to mention, too. I did forget something. Pittsburgh don't scare me at all. No, but we don't. But that's the one team we seem to, we see, they seem to escape. You know, that one play that me and you argued about all the time with, with TJ Watt, where Lamar had, had to do it open, but he had to throw it over Watt. And I can't remember who the, who the back was, or I remember who that was. They couldn't quite. Was that Andrews? I don't know. I can't remember, but I just remember that play and we ended up losing that game. Um, but I, I just see I just see a lot happen with that. And uh, I'm still trying to find out if Yo can make it up here. I haven't heard that. Quinn, can we get an update from the top right corner? 4-3 Arizona. The Diamondbacks. Four. They've taken the lead 4-3 to three over uh, Milwaukee. And it's still no score in the – I don't know how they messed that up because they had runners with second and third. Marlins and Philly, 0-0. Zero, zero. So it doesn't matter. The Zebras always help the Steelers when we play them. That's true, Bob, and we're playing that. But you know what? We're going to take it out of their hands this week. Uh, I'm going to try to see. Is there anything else? Since we can go over our picks real quick. And if we got to – recap last week? Huh? going to recap last week? Oh, yeah, got to. Got to. All right. Since we got everybody here and uh, we're only missing Shelly and we got the eight ball that'll make up for it. All right, let me give you a let y'all know what happened last week. Week number four. We had a new winner this week. It was, oh, wait a minute. I got me. Let me, let me get his picture. Let me get his picture ready. Let me get his picture ready. The bouncer. Bob with. 15 wins. Wow. 15 wins, Bob. You almost had a perfect week. Bob, I think that's I think that's a record, man. So I gotta pull up. I think it was 14. I think I had 14. But um I don't remember. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sure 15 is it. Uh uh. -oh. Wink, they just brought me some fresh cut pineapple chunks to snack on. It's going to be criminal. What to do? <laughs> anyway, um, Bob won with 15. We had Yale and Troy down and Rock with 13. Wink had 10. Shelly had 10. Eight ball had six. I still have not completed the eight ball picks. I'm going to go back to week one and let the eight ball. So next week, I will have, have the all the picks. Eight. Yeah, huh? So you have the total for the eight ball? Yeah, for the eight ball. I'm going to add them all in. So, the way the totals stand right now is we stay up to, up to date. In first place, we still got Yale. Yale's in first place with 45 points. Bob is next, 42 points. Troy and Rock, 40. Wink, 34. Shelly, 25. Shelly, Mr. Week. Yeah. And uh, um, it's, still, it's still relatively close. And Wink, I know Wink will make a surge at any time. <laughs> and it might, it might be this week while, while the meds are kicking in. So, yeah, yeah, you still got the top spot right now. You're up by three. But we're going to see what happens. As a matter of fact, are y'all ready right now to go through these picks? And uh, as we name, uh, and if there's anything from last week that anybody in the comments want to pull up, we will pull that up, too. Uh, I don't think there's any. Let me let me just real quick. Let me look at these games from last week. I'm you really can note that the Jags, the Jags did win in London. Because that was yeah, the, we all the Jack. Yeah, but we all said that they they like the home team. And they're staying there. They're, they're there two weeks in a row. So they're staying there. So they're already in that time zone. We all picked the Jags. That was surprising that the one because we all picked them. Um, I screwed up because I thought the Commodores, and it was close. That's what, and that's another thing I was going to say. The Commodores, the they ain't going to right? Huh? I picked the Commodores also. Mm -mm. I didn't. Mm -mm. You went with the Eagles. Okay. But it went into overtime. And I'm just saying, I'm not impressed with the Eagles, man. The Eagles are doing, they're winning, but they're doing like just enough 
to win. And y'all keep that in mind when y'all do your picks. They're doing just enough for the city. Anyway, um, you got Wink on there also. Wink's, Wink's live? Yeah, can we hear you, Wink? It's going to be hard to hear him on the, on yeah. the thing. We're really his, um, his what's his name? Did you hear him? No, I didn't hear oh, Okay. Him. All right, we'll stay on there, Wink. Stay there. We're about to do our picks right now. Let me get me a pen out of here. You want to do a commercial real quick? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me get it to you. You still in another one? Yes. The this is the last night. You got that last night. The Hillsmere Bar and Restaurant, 5707. Oh, where it feels like home. We are open each and every day except Monday. By all means, come on out and check us out. Sunday is the terrific tailgate, man, when you get to come and root for your favorite team. Hopefully it's the Ravens. If it's not the Ravens, still come root for our favorite team. Tuesday is Welcome to Birdland Live. 7 to 9 p.m. Wednesday, sing-along karaoke, where you too can be the star. Thursday is for all of the educators. If you're an educator of any kind, come in. We have a special event going on for you each and every Thursday. And then Friday is the wound down um, Fab Friday happy hour. After a long work, we come let your head out and get your party on. We're Mr. Get It Done. Go to the DJ Rock Nights in the building. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all heard me. Y'all heard. Y'all heard. I don't know what y'all heard, but y'all heard. <laughs> anyway, you feeling good, sir? I am. You ready to make a move and a jump in the sand? Yes. All right, let's get ready. Go do it right here. How you doing, sir? Man? Can y'all hear him okay? We'll find out. All right. Wings high on sunshine right now. Say it again, Wink. Oh, he must got too many pineapples in his mouth. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> and Yale saw the trash. Just like he'll realize, like his. His lead is getting shorter. But that's okay. Have fun with it, Yale. Yale says I'm an educator. I'll be teaching y'all fools how to pay. <laughs> that trash talk. All right, first Thursday. In fact, we're going to have Yale. Yale, be ready because you got to do the first pick since you are in the lead, sir. Thursday night, we got the 0 and 4 Bears going. Oh, I didn't even get all the other points. The Bears coming up to the Commodores. What you thinking there, sir? We might as well all pick it, don't matter. Yeah, because it was like, is anybody going with the bear? That's probably how I should have done it. No. Because I know Bob is going Commodores, Troy's going Commodores. Bob, yep, Bob's got it. Rock's going there, right? Yes. What you got, Wink? Commodores? <laughs> oh, double play. Double play. So we need Yale. Did Yale walk away from the phone while we wait for Yale? Magic 8-Ball. Are the Commodores going to win? Magic 8-Ball says, Outlook not so good. Oh, wow. The 8-Ball is going with the bad. It's going with that upset. I don't see Yale yet. Yale, Yale slipping. Oh, it's coming. You got mail coming. It's Yale? Mm -hmm. Why? What? All uh, right, Yale, Yale's got all his picks in. I am so confused. Did he have to leave? All uh, right, Yale's going with the Commodores, too. So right now, all except for the eight ball, we the fellas have all gone with the Commodores. So now we're going into Sunday. We got the Jacksonville going into London to play the Bills, who's supposed to be, supposed to be the Bills' home team, but we know what that really means, right? Oh, I got it. He said you is good luck, Charm. That's why he said it to you. Because he did win that week. Yeah, I, I, he started I the season it. off with her. Well, the Bills. Yale's going with the Bills. Bob's going with the Bills. Troy's going with the Bills. Who you going with, Rob? Bills. You want the Jacksonville's? They playing in London? They didn't get a shot there wall for London this year. And they ain't leave. They still I know. Buffalo got to adjust. 
I might, I might, I might change my mind as I, I just talk myself into that. Who you going with, Wink? I got it. Bill's going with the, I mean, uh, Wink's going with the Bill. Look, it's like Bill going with the Winks. And Magic Football, who the Bill's going to do? Are the Bill's going to win? What's that say? You, I'm trying not to, what's that say right there? He took his glasses off to read it. Let's see. You may rely on it. Oh, Magic Eight Ball is going there too. See, I haven't heard that one before. That's a new. You may you actually you want me to let you want me in charge today, bro. No, no. You you scared of? Yes, yeah, so I don't want to touch. You don't want to be cursed. Nope. All right, so it's a clean sweep. Everybody's going with the Bills. That's really making me think I'm gonna go different. One of four. We got the uh, Houston Texans going to Atlanta. Yale is going with the Texans. Um, I'm going with the Texans. Who are you going with? Texans. Rock's going with the Texans. Bob is going with the Texans. Maybe someone with a better than Mount St. Joe education should read the ball. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That's somebody from Columbia coming in here. Wow. We're going to say, oh, we definitely, definitely had to come at the end with the scores. I'm about to pick some other teams. Who are you going with, Wayne? Wink's going with the Falcons. Wink's trying to make a move. That's I don't think that's unreasonable. I'm not, I'm not impressed with the Texans. So you go. You go. I, I went with the Texans, but I, I can I can see the Falcons winning that. I, I, I you know what, Wink? I'm going over there with you. I'm going over there. We we both gonna lose. All right, so we got Rock Yale and Bob with the Texans. Wink and Troy and say try again and nope, eight ball is going with the Texans. All right, so Wink and Troy go with the Falcons. Next, one o'clock, we got the Panthers going into Detroit. Yale is going with the Lions. Who you going, Rock? Lions. Rock's going with the Lions. Bob's going with the Lions. Troy's going with the Lions. Wink, who you going with? Wink's going with the Lions. Magic Eight Ball is. <laughs> My sources say no. The Eight Ball is going with the Panthers. That used to be Mayfield Magic, but now he ain't there with the Panthers anymore, yeah. so that's not going to work anymore. All right. He's huh? He's he said he took his look. Oh, yeah. He'll be, I haven't seen. He took his commercials there, too, because I used to see. You don't see Mayfield as much, either. All right. Next, we got uh, the Titans yeah. going to the Colts. Yale has decided to take the Titans. Who you who you taking, Wink? Who? Colts. Colts. Wink is going with the Colts. Bob is. Bob has the Colts. Right. I'll give you a second. I'm, I'm, I want to get on the Henry bus, man. You gonna get on what bus? The Henry bus. What's the Henry bus? Dark Henry. Oh, so you going with the Titans? Titans. It's like this water should be clear. Not likely. <laughs> All right. So you go with Derrick Henry, Yale, Troy, Rock, Bob, and Wink are going with the Colts. And make sure I got that right. He's got the Titans. All right. Next, we got the Giants. I'm I'm ignoring you, yeah. Yeah says he should shake the magic ball because he probably got strong wrists because he's singing. <laughs> Anyway, we got the Giants. Everybody, everybody, the weak drugs. Giants going into the Dolphins. Yale says the Dolphins. Bob says the Dolphins. Troy says the Dolphins. Who you saying, Wink? Dolphins. Is that is that fair to say, Rob? Yes. 
Why does eight ball? It's too many not now kind of kind of answers, man. Yes. All right. So it was a clean sweep. Eight ball came to a sense. Rock, Yale, Bob, Troy, Wink, eight ball. Shit. Next, we got the Saints. Uh oh. Going to New England. Ooh, Yale says the Saints. Who you say, Rock? New England. Rock is going with New England. Who you going with, Wayne? <laughs> you didn't go with New oh, England. Last week, we, we, we all assumed you were going with New England. <laughs> Bob says the Magic A Ball is watching the playoffs. So we got, uh, okay, so with the Saints, we got Bob, Troy, and Yale. With the Patriots, we got Rock and Wink. And uh, with the Patriots win, Magic 8-Ball says, yes, Magic 8-Ball is over there with y'all. And the last one o'clock game, we got the Ravens going into Pittsburgh. <laughs> With the wicked Kenny Pickett, that dumbass Kenny Pickett. Oh, yeah, it's eight ball first. Without a doubt, going with the Steelers, the eight ball. Really? Eight ball says without a doubt. I'm going with the Ravens. Bob's going with the Ravens. Troy's going with the Ravens. Yale is going with the Ravens. Rock is going with the Ravens. Wink, can you say it? Ravens. This <laughs> is painful. All except for the Magic Eight Ball, we're all going with the Ravens. Against the Steelers, and it should be that way. You should ask the ball the same question. Does the home team win this week? Oh, for no, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. No, the eight ball picked the Steelers. Eight ball picked the Steelers and the Patriots. Oh, well, we know the eight ball is wrong. That explains the eight ball has Dane Branch. <laughs> All right. 4.05, first 4 o'clock game. 4.05, we got the Bengals. Ah, Bengals going into Arizona. Yale is taking the Bengals. Bob is taking the Bengals. What about you, Rock? You come back to me. What about you, Wink? I got to Wink saying the Bengals. I had a question mark because I picked the Bengals and then I put a question mark next to it because I feel like the – I'm not uh, – Did they lose last week or win? They lost. Bengals. So you think they're gonna lose again? Right. They're not gonna not they gonna drop two back to back. So Rock is going with the Bengals. I got a question mark because I can see the Cardinals getting up one more time. Okay, let me take the Bengals too. And Magic A Ball is like uh he can't do it right now. Let's see what's up. And hey, let me take a quick look at there's still no score in the Miami Philly game. All right, but I gotta say, so it's still four three top right. Top of the line, yeah. Oh, there's a score now. Philly just just scored. It is one to know who was that. Somebody hit a double because I don't really care about Philly like that. Bone B O H M. Bone just hit a double. Philly's taking the lead. What inning is it? Is that third? Bottom of the third. Man, it's a slow game. All right, so Philly's Philly's up one to nothing against Miami, and it's still four to three in the uh, in the other game. And I look not so good for the Cardinals. So eight balls over here with the Bengals too. Looks like it's a clean clean sweep. So we're all going with the Bengals. All right, and Bob says the Bengals should do better. My tuition for Burrow started back this week. <laughs> Oh, the Yale's like they got Molly. Uh, the um, they did, they did. So, it's talking about some All right, let's get the. Oh, your phone done cut off. How many? How many outs is it? Um, in the Phillies game, McQueen? Two. Two outs. I can see the dots. All right, the next game, four twenty-five. We got the Jets and the Broncos. And, and Yale has chosen the, the, the Jets. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
I'm going with the Broncos. I think I think Russell Woods can do two in a row. I just I just believe it. The Jets look whack to me. Bob is going with the Broncos. Rock, you go with the Jets. Yes. Rock is going with the Jets. I feel so much better about that. I need you and Yale together on that one. How do you feel, Wink? I feel even better. Wink, Yale and Rock with the Jets. Me and Bob are going with the Broncos. They playing um, in Denver. Yeah, I already wrote it down in pen. You can't change your mind. I'm going to stay with the Jets. <laughs> now nah, you could have changed your mind if you wanted to. All right. 425, we got the Chiefs going into the Vikings. And Yale has chosen the Chiefs. Chiefs. Rock has chosen the Chiefs. Who are you taking, Wink? Chiefs. Wink, Troy, and Bob is a clean sweep. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I skipped I skipped two teams, as a matter of fact. So, I mean, I skipped the team. But anyway, let me get the eight ball in here. First of all, I'm sorry. Let me take it back to, are you going with the Chiefs or the Vikings? Eight ball is taking. Blue water. That's, is there a film over this? It is certain. So, eight ball is going with the Vikings. And then the Jets and the Broncos. I, mean, I could do this. I could laugh for this whole day. The eight ball must have some of wing pineapples. It must be. Going with the Broncos. <laughs> eight ball is taking the Vikings. Eight ball is taking the Broncos. And I forgot a game. The Eagles and the Rams. I forgot one, y'all. Eagles. Yale is taking the Eagles. Bob is taking the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. Rock's taking the Eagles. Wink. And weren't you in a big bowl or they, they were stingy with them? Did you get a big bowl of pineapples or they were stingy with them? Okay. You know what, y'all? The eight ball is going with the Eagles. But you know what, y'all? What? They're not in that division. I was going to go with the Rams, but. I just, the Eagles just, they're not impressing me. I'm going with the Rams. I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to go with the Rams on that. Hey, I'm going to give y'all a chance. Because hey, I'm going to come back strong later. All right, next. We got, so just, just I'm going to just recap real quick. Let me just do the four, four, five. We all went with the Bengals. When it comes to the, the Rams, could pull an upset. I f but... You don't think so. That's Yale saying it. Um, we all went with the Bengals. That's a game I, I feel like I should switch to. But I'm not going to do it. Uh, the Eagles, everybody went with the Eagles except me. I'm going with the Rams. With the Jets going into to the Broncos, Wink, Yale, and Rock took the Jets. Bob and Troy took the Broncos. We all took the Chiefs. And that brings us to 820. We got the Cowboys going into San Francisco. San That's your favorite team. What? San Francisco. You going to get your favorite team? Rock came out real early saying San Francisco. Yale's going with San Francisco. Bob's going with San Francisco. Troy's going with the 49ers. And Wink, you're going with who? Wink's going with the Eagles. Wow. After what he just did to his team? Dang. You think they're going to keep that going? And that's always, this is kind of a different rivalry, too. They got their own. That's some strong possibility. I wouldn't be shocked. But I'm just looking at that that offense, man. They got a lot of they got a lot of a lot of stuff happening on offense. All right, so let me just recap. Wink is the only one going with the Cowboys. I thought it would be Rock. And the eight ball says, "No, eight ball is going with you, Wink." Hello. <laughs> and everybody using the same pineapples. <laughs> All right, that brings us to the Monday night game. And I had I had something there. I, I'm, I'm toying with this game. We got Green Bay going into the Raiders. Yale has decided to go with the Packers. Bob is going with the Packers. Rock. And they playing in Las Vegas? Yep. I'm up to Packers last week, and they let me down. 
Bob says the eight balls on meds too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll go with the Packers. The Raiders not playing good ball right now. You going with the Packers? Yeah. Rock's going with the Packers. So I got Rock, Bob, and Yale. Troy's going with the Raiders. Who you going with, Wayne? I got a question for you. Okay. How many games behind was I? Uh, you are behind Yale. You are eleven. All right. I'm going with the uh, the Raiders. You are with me, sir. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. That should be Wink. Yeah, you are. But you know how this is. I guarantee by the time we get like week 15, we're going to all be within like three to five. Yeah. Yep. Hmm? Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll close it in. Because yeah, Yell did that last year and then he fell off real fast. I still got his pick. The Raiders can't beat off. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Yeah. <laughs> huh? You heard him yell. I tell you, hug. <laughs> we tell you, you have to be careful, Yale. You have to be careful. All right. So we got all our picks we did in. Monday. Hmm? Monday was the um, Raiders and um, Monday night. Monday night's game was Raiders and um, in Green Bay. Green Bay. Yeah, Green Bay going to Las Vegas. So I think I got everybody in there. One, two, three, four, five is weird. You usually have six. Oh, Magic Eight Ball. I'm sorry. Magic Eight Ball looking at me like I'm mad. Let me, I'm sorry. I got one more pick to get. Once we get to week 13 or 14, Troy stops counting all of my picks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't really count your picks anyway because you 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 were um you were loafing around. On the last one, it says it's it is certain the Raiders are going to According to the eight ball. That works for me. Well, there's gonna be a whole lot of uh let me just give y'all a recap real quick of the of the uh of the high risk picks based on this. Wink and Troy go me and Wink seem to be together a lot. Wink and Troy taking Atlanta over the Texans, Bob and Wink going with the Colts over the Titans, uh Rock and Wink. <laughs> Wink is on Rock and Wink. Going to Patriots over the Saints. Uh, me taking the Rams over the Eagles. Bob and Troy, Broncos over the Jets. Da, 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 da. Wink, Cowboys over the 49ers. And Wink and Troy, Raiders over the Packers. Wink, you're going to make a big jump. Oh, oh, <laughs> and, and, and it looks like me and you together on most of your picks. I think only one game matters this week. The rest, Yale and I are the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's me and Wink that have that have gone solo most of the, most of it. And Wink more than anybody. So Wink, you could you could make a big jump, man, unless it breaks out even or whatever. And keep in mind, next Tuesday we will not have a show. Um, but we're gonna figure out how to do our picks, so um, put them in the chat. That's true. Okay. We'll do a maybe because well we still have Wi-Fi or something we'll be able to talk or something I think but yeah we'll put them in the chat and then just keep up with them but I will say the, the what you challenge that time with you huh yeah yeah oh, I have so my phone. just go ahead and do do your show um from wherever you are oh I guess I could do that and then the rest of us just I'll chime in from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, it's a commercial. I got to wait till the cup. There's Taylor Swift. Look. Anyway, y'all, we, um, <laughs> what's, what's awesome about our picks is that we do them right after Monday night. So Monday we, night. we do them on Tuesday. Everybody else is waiting and seeing who's hurt, who's injured, and all that and whatnot. So there's a definite advantage. And some people, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a new, a new, 
person watching, his statement is, the Yankees suck, Lamar can't throw, and Stanley has no interest in playing football. So, the Yankees suck is accurate. Can Lamar throw? Yes, it's been proven. <laughs> Stanley, you think Stanley has quit? He's done. He's got his money. He's ready to quit. Don't even entertain him. Mike, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Mike's been, Mike has, Mike, you know what? To be honest, you don't like anybody. You you hate a Flacco. You hate Harbaugh. You hate, you hate everybody, sir. So, um, but it's okay to hate the Yankees. What's wrong? Oh, DJ. Yeah. Thank you. So it's like, um, say something else, Mike. Let us know something else. Because I need to know why you just you just don't like Lamar. Who would you rather see? Would you rather see Huntley? Lamar is three and one. He's been putting up productive games, even in the loss. He had a, a, a fairly decent game, and he still can't get any credit. Mm. He's the definition of a hater. Any updates on OBJ? Uh, Lamar has the second best. Ah, completion percentage in the league this year. Stanley had his knee twisted during the Colts game and could be back against Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh, I like that. But he's 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 just a, he's just a hater, man. For the moment, that contract. But but I need to ask him about uh, Flacco too. I think what you just told me, they're coming after you, Mike. Don't tell me you logged off. I see we are down to three. <laughs> Troy, when you can't say this. Yes, sir, Wayne. <laughs> I, I'm going to mark this and I'm going to need to play this again later because I need proof that you said this. I, I mean, this year he's looking fine. He, he, the only thing I need them to, I need them to stop uh, fumbling the ball so much, but um, his passing, his running, I mean, he's I, the fact that he runs so much, I, I'm not as afraid. I'm always nervous when he starts to run, but he gets down, he gets out of bounds. I agree with that. Yes. I agree with that. And um, Pull, him pulling it down is not always his first decision. Right. Oh, oh he said. Did they score again, too? Was somebody else on base? Uh-uh. No. Philly's trying to, trying to make another. Oh, why did he not score? So he got run on second and third. So must have been somebody. Rock must have been on base because he should have scored. Philly's trying to do some more. Oh, yeah, he is slow. He didn't take off running. Oh, no, well, the ball wasn't hit that deep. All right, I apologize. I was I was wrong about that. It wasn't like the ball was hit that far. So, And he hustled to get in, get in the second. That was close. Yeah. That was close. All right, Philly. Philly trying to make a move. You see Baltimore and Philly in the World Series, man? No. You can't see it? Who would you see? In the, who, who could you see? National League. Who could you see? And I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask you, Wink, stand by. I don't know, because I really don't pay attention to the National League because we're not in the National League. So well, why'd you say no to Philly then? Because I just don't I, I don't want to see Philly. I don't like the city of Philly. All right, let's say let's see, let, let me give you some options. Let's say Baltimore gets in. Let's say when Baltimore gets in. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Baltimore gets in. All right, let's see who your option, who you who you can pick from from the National League. You got okay, you said no to the Phillies. Well, the number one, let me tell you the number one seeds. Atlanta Braves. They beat up on us. They they won a series against us this year. Yeah. You got the Dodgers. How you feel about that? No. I'm liking Atlanta so far. Keep going. Phillies, you said no. We got Miami Marlins. No. You got Milwaukee Brewers. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what we did with them. And you got Arizona Diamondbacks. Atlanta. I would like to see Atlanta. Atlanta's a bit, they're the two best teams, Atlanta and uh, Baltimore. Man. What you think, Wink? Mm -hmm. 
In the dark. Like right now, I think that we have a better chance of being the Rangers. Oh, the, so the second guy got out. So, so you you said you'd rather see the Rangers in the Rays. say something real quick uh phillies uh somebody just got thrown out at home uh then uh then after that there was a uh a, uh a ball that the catcher could not find so the person that hit a double is now standing on third so philly is now up two to nothing run on third it's only one out um i miss how they got that second run because they tried to get three it's close play at the plate but oh uh, uh, well they got three now i saw this one so Philly's got a little roll going right now. You want to see you want to see Philly win? So it's tied up. Arizona and Milwaukee tied up 4-4 in the fourth inning. These games are well, I guess when you get people on base. But and there's also, I will also say this: wild card games are only in one city, which I didn't know. So um they don't, it's it's the best out of three. They don't leave. So the the the, the low seeded team does not get to go. Home. Yeah, they're on the road, so that's kind of messed up. But you know, to me, we ain't there. But so, then they don't have a day for travel, so they got to be in one city. Right. I mean, they could have said there's one game, and they could have had one game, and then on the travel day they could have had. The, Another team play, you know what I mean? So, because there's two American League games, there's two National League games. Doesn't matter to me because we're we're just waiting for them to finish right. and see who we're gonna get up on, huh? Great show. I'll do it on. I'll do it on Saturday. I first. And we're gonna be. We'll actually be on the air Sunday, so. You know, even if I know you'd be watching your game, but um, you can you can certainly make comments during the game. I'm just gonna actually stay on it, which is one o'clock. Yeah, right. yeah. So we'll be right on here talk the entire game. All right, we'll you- see you there, Wink. All right, and uh, Yale's yeah, asking what happened earlier in the earlier games. Um, the uh, the Rangers won the first game. And the Twins won the first game. So we will be, be uh, oh, oh, by the way, Bob is letting us know. Bob is uh, on Friday, 7.30 at Battle Creek Democratic Club. Unfortunately, you, you'll be here. Yes. But I'm going to let you know what goes on because I'm going to make sure I record it. Uh, Bob is going to be doing his stand-up. It's going to be comedy night. At uh, 7900 New Battle Creek Road in Dundalk. Bob, I'm rooting for you. Uh, Yale, you still haven't let us know uh, what you're doing Sunday, sir. Are you trying to get out of that? Let me know. Let me know now. And uh, But also Friday night, you're going to be the man here, yeah. DJ. So we're going to see what's going on with what. 5707 Bel Air Road, Hills Mere Restaurant and Bar. Hello. Oh, that's an out. I heard the crowd yell. Dude, don't show off. Y'all losing. Look, there should be a flag. And baseball? For for anything. 
back the poor group? Oh, they must have appealed. Yes. You can appeal it. All right, it's back to 43. I'm sorry. So Arizona and Milwaukee, Arizona's back on top 43. Apparently there was a um glitch. Yeah, they you can appeal a, a play. And uh somebody scored an eight and they're saying it should have been out. I'm gonna have to find out what that was. Uh-oh. We're we're uploading. <laughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Anyway, so look, man, this has been this has been an awesome. I guess we, I guess we covered everything. You got anything you want to add? Go, Dion. Mm, mm, mm. That means happen. You want to just say that real quick? We got the camera on you. I'm good. Wait a minute. Let me put something there. Do you honestly not a Dion fan now? You said you're not. I'm asking. You're not a Dion. I've always fan. been a Dion fan, but I just I just find you funny about it. You just find uh, all kinds of ways to uh, to 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 because the first that you're like before we go there, did you see the game? <laughs> you just find anyway, don't even, it won't even matter. But uh, yeah, I'm a, I've always been a Dion fan, man. So as a, as a sports fan, are you impressed with what he's doing in Colorado? Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with. Dion, Dion is was made to get attention at anything he does. So after he retired and he was just on um like ESP or whatever he was on, it might not be ESPN. I hate to say the wrong show or prompt, whatever. He had his segment when and they called it prompt on the corner of prime time and something or whatever. And so whatever he does, he's that dude to get attention at anything. So no matter what, let's say if he was still losing every game, he could still get a tent. You know what I mean? He's still a draw. But the fact that he, um, as soon as he won that first game, it was on. So he's playing teams that are, um, uh, thank you, thank you, sir. WMEG rocks. And Dion is the best thing to happen to Colorado since legalized pot. Bob is still writing. <laughs> But I, I agree with 21st of Prime. Thank you, Yale. If you answer some questions, but he won't answer everything. I don't I don't know what that's all about. What's that all about, sir? Shelly has finally popped on. Annie has finally popped on. Where y'all been? Y'all watching y'all stories. Do Shallow and Shador both go to the NFL? At the same time or just ever? Well, they won't be at the same time because Shallow won't be there next year. This should be Shadow's last year playing. Oh, he said he said you the answer it, about him coming Sunday. Yeah, he said no. Why you send it there? I don't understand. Shelly said she'd be helping out. Should we let Shelly do a picture real quick? Sure. You ready to do your picture real quick, Shelly? We we get, you you log on just the time. Are you ready? Yeah, make sure you're ready. We give we give all the praise to Shador, but Shallow is holding his own, man. She said she's ready. I'm listening to you. Yeah, he's he's holding his own. So, um, I'm impressed, man. I, I'm just if he leaves the rest of the season right now, man, we can't negate what he's done so far. Okay, financially and um, in his stature. So what do you say to the people? A friend of mine, before I'm, right, I'm going to get ready to pull them up right now, Shelly. A friend of mine made a statement um, that I thought was kind of funny, but he said all the people that was upset about him leaving Jackson State, and he did Jackson State wrong, and he just left them all alone. They they know everything that he's doing with Colorado, but he bet none of them could even tell you what What's Jackson State is doing right, right now. And I'm like, you know what? He, he put that, I was like, Right, because none of them are talking about Jackson State. And prior to him getting there, they weren't talking about Jackson State. So, all right, Shelly, Thursday night, you got you got the Bears going into the Commodores on Thursday night. Who you going with? We're going to get all this written down. We are good. You keep talking about them while, while uh, we wait. Oh, she's she's picking two at a time. Two at a time. Did you ever see uh Bone, Michael Jai White? Uh -huh. You ever saw that movie? Oh. 
without I can't say it. Then you would you wouldn't get it. She's going with Commander. the Commodores. The dolphins. She, yeah, where the dolphins at? Dolphins, dolphins, dolphins. Yeah, that, that, that. All right, that's a clean sweep. We all took the dolphins. We all took the except the eight ball. All right, then you got uh, you got Jacksonville going into Buffalo, although they're playing in London. So you got Jacksonville and the Bills, and you got Texans in, going to Atlanta. Oh, oh, she, oh, she done slid a couple of them in. Okay, Saints. Shelley's going with the Saints, Titans, Ravens, Lions, Texans, Ravens. Texas, 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 Texas. Where are? Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, then she. Oh, she's going with the card. See, I wanted to take that. I won't be mad now. I'm thinking. I'm you thinking like me, Shelly. I was thinking about the Cardinals, but I didn't pick them. All right. So I think is that all I want to tie? I think she. I don't think I skipped anything, Shelly. Shelly. She's at nine games. Let's see. That's a really nice Eagles, Broncos. Jacksonville and the Bills. Did she pick any of those? I don't see that. Jacksonville and the Bills, but I'm going to get the other ones. So Eagles. Broncos and Chiefs. She hasn't picked her own Bundy game yet. Okay. 49ers Raiders. She with me and Wing. And she going with the Billy, Billy, Billy. All right. So I'm going to go with these real quick. Shelly. Shelly has gone with the Commodores, the Bills, the Texans, the Lions, the Titans, the Dolphins, the Saints, the Ravens. I'm positive for that one. She went rogue, who took the Cardinals, the Eagles, the Broncos, the Chiefs, the 49ers, and the Raiders. I think I got all that right. Yes. Shelly, anything you want to say real quick about the Orioles or, or the Ravens? I don't know if you see any of the comments. I'll give you, a couple, give you a couple seconds to read, and we'll talk, and I'll see if you got anything you want to add. Queen, you got anything you want to add real quick? Not at all. The characters, characters. Anyway, <laughs> why are we on air? Ask about the, the, the black Orioles stream. I can't hear what you said. I can't hear you. Why are we on the air? Why are we on the air? What are you saying? Ask about the black Orioles jersey. He, Rock has a question for you, I think. Say it again, Rock. Why are we on the air? I want you to ask our wife about we don't We don't have no wife. We don't have no wife. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You on meds too. You you got some shit going on over there. <laughs> I don't know what you doing. It would be a perfect anniversary game. And also, man, shout out oh, to the Brody. Loud, man. Man, shout out to the Brodies for celebrating another wonderful year of heavenly bliss. Uh, they have an anniversary coming up. How many years will it be? Do you know? Oh, you asking me? So, so you out of the we now? You no more French? Because our anniversary date is not the same as your anniversary date, right? Because you, you, when is when is your anniversary? Because I'm gonna make a phone call and find out. I'm gonna find out if you know yours. See how he got quiet again, y'all. That's why the camera. I need y'all to see that we coming up on ten. Oh, congratulations! Ten years. Yes, sir. That's decent. Yep. She put up with your foolishness for 10 years. Yep. She should get some type of award. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like a Birkin bag or it's, something. Yep. That's that's where you come in. That's where you come in. She don't have 10 years. Get our years. wife a Birkin bag. Now, now that's now it's gonna be our. Go ahead and get it. She don't have 10 years with me. Her, it be 10. her gift is based on the history that her and I had together. Right. So get that Birkin. We're a little over a year. Get that burger. Mm, not a burger. You in the honeymoon stage. Get that burger. <laughs> to hallucinate ass. Anywhere. Yup. 
You want a Berlin? It's probably, it's probably cell check on it. <laughs> hey, Michelle also said she hoped her arms played a raid. What's up, Valerie? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shelly's on point with the passing. The um, yeah, I knew, I knew it was spell check. I knew what you meant. What's he doing? Wait a minute, where the call come in at? He don't what? Oh, probably about you. Yep. About what? It don't matter. So you said you hope the Orioles play the Rays. Let me ask you something, Shelly. Quick question: Who would you pick? Orioles are going to the World Series. Who would you want to see them play? She said that already. Who? The Rays. That ain't the World Series. See, see y'all look. That's why he's supposed to be over here on the side. See, in the World Series, you can't have two people in the same division. You can't have two teams I in the American League. She said, so no, she's talking about for the play. The, next playoff, yeah. playoff. the World Series. So she she's answering from earlier in the text when we were talking. Okay. Y'all need to y'all need to help him. Help him, y'all. Help him. His name is his name is DJ Rock Nice. The light, the light night. Y'all need to help him. Can you ask for help, Rock? Can you do a um, a go for me? Thought she was on some of them pineapples one week. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She was. It, it was very clear that you cannot have. You cannot have the Ravens and the Steelers in in the Super Bowl. I don't understand that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You said she already picked. Y'all gotta help them. Help them, y'all. Help them. Get that man some common sense. Can y'all help him? He just. He just happy. He just happy and going in the wrong direction, y'all. I'm just saying. That's what. Rock knowledge. <laughs> oh. right, so what time can they join us on Sunday? On Sunday, we'll be here. What time are you, you going to actually get in here? What time are you going to be here? Sunday? I'm going to be here early, but we won't start broadcasting until one. Yeah, we're broadcasting at one. I'm going to come in earlier, too. You gonna, are you going? So we'll be up here? Yes, I'll be here by 10.30, so don't, don't worry about my time. Shelly. And everybody listening, come down to the Hills, man. Say that say the address again. 5707 Bel Air Road. Right here with Bel Air Road in Baltimore, Maryland. Look. Hills Me Bar and Restaurant. We're gonna have the Ravens and Steelers game on right here. We're gonna be online on the air right here during the game. Boom. Come on down here and see us. If you can't make it, watch us right here. But I'm saying come on down if you want some great food. Food is food is great and the prices are great. They go hand in hand. Especially with rock being here, rock is cheap. But he likes quality. So this is the place for him. But you all cheap, right? Yes. But anyway, <laughs> you can get great food here. And and like I said, I try to get something different every time. Let, I was here Sunday. They had like the brunch thing going. I got the waffles, man, the chicken and waffles. I wasn't for it. By the time I ordered my food, it was everything. It was done. No, that's really? not. But I did have some some grits and potatoes, so they, they hit the spot. Grits and potatoes were good. The eggs, the sausage, private. I've had the jambalaya. Yes. I've had the uh, and of course wings. The wings are great. I've had and my, my the thing that stands out for me right now. I had the I had the cheeseburger with the crab dip and the bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen over there is into this. Into the Caesar salad with chicken. That's awesome, also. It is. It is. So it is, it is a lot more. I got a long way to go to finish this list. So I'm definitely going to go. So look, Nicole's got it. The Gangster Assassin has it written down there in the, in the comments. Hillsville Restaurant and Bar, 5707 Bel Air Road. Phone number 443-438-5866. I'm glad I'm sitting by the window. <laughs> so I look like I knew what I was doing there. And uh, I, oh, look, uh, somebody tried to tell us we got to go. It's 9.30. I guess we do need to go. <laughs> Mama's going to the truck. Okay. Oh, we're getting shouted. That's because you full and you done had your food. All right, y'all, we all get ready to log on Sunday, and I'll make an event for it. Please come on down or definitely watch. But I, I would love for y'all to come down and find all your Steeler friends. Bring your Steeler friends. I would love that's the steal of people in here. Please. They got to watch from the pit. They can't, can't join us. Steal of people. Come on in here. Bring them all. Put your jerseys on and come on down 
to the Hills Mill Wrestling Run Ball. We're, with that, we're about to hang up. Anything you want to say right before we roll out? Yes, yeah, Shelly, we did talk about the MLB um, shut the setup. Um, so we did we did speak on that earlier in the show. Oh yeah, let's say that real quick. Um, the their reason because I had to I had to try to figure out their reason for those. And I say this real quick before we roll. The way if you if you pay attention to most seeds, or at least I know the way the NFL does. I'm not even sure about basketball, but soon they do the same thing. But usually the top seed plays the lowest seed. And that's not the way Major League Baseball does it. So the Orioles and the American League are the number one seed. And the um, uh, they should be playing the lowest seed, but they will play the winner of Texas and um, and Tampa, which are seed, what are they, four or five? I'll tell you real quick. Yeah, their seeds, four, uh, five and four seeds. So let's say the Blue Jays win. Blue Jays are seeded number six. Orioles should play them, but that's not the way it's going to go. And they've been killing Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. Boys been beating up on the Blue Jays all year. But they're saying that their reasons to make sure that the number one seed does not play a division winner in the very next round. That's their that's their reason. I, and I had to search for that reason because I it didn't make sense to me. But I mean, but I get it if that's the reason. But it doesn't matter. Play the they, lowest seed. So they want they the way it's set up is they want the number one team and the division winners to at least go two rounds. The way it's, well, it would go to the second round anyway because they're not playing in the first round. You know what I mean? For the first team, huh? The first and second. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. They want to guarantee that they don't get eliminated first round. No, they can still they can still. Well, they're not playing in the first round, but the first round that they actually play in, they can get eliminated. They can lose. They get eliminated in the second round. Yeah, the playoffs, the playoffs teams are different, man. Like everybody's good. You know, you know, you don't have any scrub teams like the Yankees to, to, to play to play against. Right. The Yankees. They scrubs. They're not even in the playoffs. I um, all right, look, we get ready to roll. What's up, Karen? We're about to roll out though, y'all. Look, Karen, go back and watch this from the beginning. I need I need my numbers up. Please do that. Y'all have a good night, and and you 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 clear right. You got everything done. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I need to? I need to add. Uh, I need to add a picture of something. What should I put a picture of as we go on? What should Olds it be? Olds and Ravens. Olds and Ravens. That flag, the Maryland flag, or yes. just or something else. Maryland flag. Yes. All right. I like that. Wait a minute, y'all. We can't go until we get that up there. Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore Ravens. Ravens logo. The shield. Mm -hmm. Nah, not that. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Lamar, Angry Oreo. I got the Angry Oreo. I like that too. Maryland flag, here we go. All right, now, we're about to break up. Y'all have a good night. We will see y'all this Sunday, game time, 1 o'clock. 5707 Bel Air Road. 57, what's the name of the place? The Hills Mill Restaurant and Bar. Sound good to me. We'll see y'all Sunday. Night, night.